Welcome back, everybody. It's time for book club. Say hello to our good friends from the Springfield Green County Library, Chrissy Sinor and Tammy Flippin. Welcome. It's Thank good you. to have you. Good good afternoon. Here. I am really interested in what you brought, first of all, because just before, <laughs> well, first of all, you brought treats. Yeah. She brought us yes. these homemade marshmallows that come from a book. Let's see. Let's start with that book, why don't we? Yes. This book right here that looks like it's just full of treats. Look at those marshmallows. Okay, tell me about this book. What book is this? Uh, La Mer de Famille. Mm -hmm. It is a French confectionery book. This uh, French pastry shop has been around since 1791 in, in Paris. So <laughs> you would think you're going to get a batch of recipes that have 40 million ingredients mm -hmm. and tons of things that aren't accessible, but it is not. It is incredibly easy. All the ingredients, lots and lots of pictures. Beautiful, beautiful treats, but it makes a great, great coffee table book too. The, the, all the designs and pictures are so beautiful, and they've gone through and made all of these things really accessible to anybody who wants to cook or make things. You know, if you like recipes and you like um, really great looking pictures that are going to make mm -hmm. you hungry. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, just our yeah, conversation the before pictures we. Pictures are little works of art here. Are yeah. they? Yeah. Aren't they? It is really stunning, mm -hmm. and the families that have owned it over the years. Have have um, an incredible background, incredible history in Paris, and all the uh, things that they've brought forward through the years, and the recipes reflect that. They're really, really good. This book will make you hungry. What a, a great Christmas gift! That's another one that's on my list. <laughs> I can tell you right now. And I'm going to enjoy a marshmallow while you talk about this one, which is really intriguing to me: the Dead Rabbit Grocery and Grog. How did you find out about this place? This is a place and a book. This is a place and a book. Um, I went to New York recently and I started getting these little advertisements, your hotel is near this or that, and I got one saying, oh, you're next to the Dead Rabbit bar, and, and I'm like, why would I even <laughs> want to go there? <laughs> Very freaky. Yeah. And so, um, and it was right down the street, walked by it every day. Turns out this bar has uh, a great, great history. It has been voted the number one bar in the world. What? Twice. And I haven't been there? I know. Ever? Whoa. This is wrong. And yeah. it has, it's a great, great coffee table book because it has recipes and all kinds of uh, really, really great drinks, things you've never, ever even heard of, and they're all wonderful. And it also has a story. And so it has a graphic, graphic novel. novel series. So the owners have gone in and created this story based on the gangs of New York. And Tom was all over that when I well, came I in. Well, I saw Dead yeah. Rabbit. <laughs> yes, that was the main gang. They were doing battle in uh, Gangs of New York, the movie. Yep. So, it, I mean, it did. And, and the rabbit comes in, and he is... Um, he's a tough guy. He's the tough guy. Yeah. He's saving lives. He's doing the right thing. And it is incredible. The graphic novel is great. The, the book is great. The drinks are great. It is an incredible uh, item. And so, super good. Another good thing for yeah. gifting. Yeah, another good gift for sure. Yeah. Okay. Chrissy. Once Upon a River. Once Upon a River okay. is a terrific novel. Um, I have a friend who's 89 years old. She mm -hmm. lives in long-term care, and she asked if I could find her a book. And I said, okay, let me put my librarian hat on, and I will, what do you want? And she said she'd like something that took place in nature, that had some adventure in it, um, that, was, that had a female, strong female lead mm -hmm. who had to go through a lot of different things. And I actually just stumbled across this one. Um, but it's a young woman who, who's either Margot, Margaret, or Maggie, depending upon who she's with. Oh. And she has, she ha they, they have named her. She, has, she doesn't really decide. And, uh, but she has, is going on adventures. This is definitely a book for adults. It's not a children's book. Okay. Um, but it's just a wonderful book about her coming of age and, and making her way in the world. And it's very, um, very remote. She, it does take place mostly on a river and, and a, in her little boat. Um, Body Joe Campbell has several other books out. One of them was a National Book Award finalist. Mm -hmm. um, and we have them all at the library, or you can get them through our Mobius so service good. as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Terrific writer. She's, she's really, my friend, I had not read the book, and my friend said, you have got to read this book. And the friend and so, that you picked it out for liked it? She loved it, well, okay. 89 years old. She loved it, and she wanted more books by Bonnie Joe Campbell. So oh. I'm getting those in for her now as well. It says a lot. All so right. Now I want to I wanna hold it. Okay, with all right. Tom, this, go for this, it. This <laughs> this is the title I went, okay, I can subscribe. I don't know oh. what it's about, but just because of the title, you got to read the book. Will the cat eat my eyeballs? Yes. The, li the library has done 
um, our death and dying conversations mm -hmm. on end of life series for yes. several years now. And Caitlin Doty is one of our favorite authors. She is an undertaker mortician. Mm -hmm. She has a YouTube channel. She also does a podcast. Um, and she got together with some kids. I think these kids are, are the children of friends of hers. Mm -hmm. Had little tea parties and asked them to give her questions that they had about death or about dying. Interesting. Oh. And so that's where the questions come mm -hmm. from. But the answers really are not for children. It is an, it is an adult book, young adult, mm -hmm. teens and adults. But the answers are very forthright. They are, um, she, no holds barred. Mm -hmm. so I would imagine pure questions. They, they are, yeah. The, the yeah. questions are Does your hair still wonderful. grow after you die? Exactly. Yeah. Like questions because, like you know, that. I mean, if it's nothing like, else, it starts the conversation. Exactly. You know? And that's really what it's designed to do is not, children are really good about asking these wonderful questions. As, as adults, we are not that good about answering them. Right. We're about finding the answers. And Caitlin really does open those doors and lets you have those conversations with other people. And It'll that's, answer your questions. that's what I like. Okay, very good. Chrissy, thank Tammy, so thank you so thank much. You. Here's right. to lots of great reading. Yes. And great marshmallows. Your libraries. Thank you <laughs> to the Council of Churches, Kyle Wyatt from Wyatt Law, Race mm. Brothers, Renewable by Anderson, and all our friends with Joy's book. Club. Yep, the marshmallows are fantastic. We'll see you again oh. here tomorrow at 3. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.